So Aaron, congratulations. Welcome back to the World Snooker Tour. Sum up your emotions for us at the moment. I uh, can't describe them. Um, I, I would have stayed there all, all day to, just to get over the line there. Um, I wasn't in the best of shapes there six, seven weeks ago during the Worlds and even half of last season. So to be sitting here talking to you now with my torque guard back is probably the biggest achievement in my life so far. Um, it means the absolute world to me and uh, my family and to close, all my close friends. And it's just an unbelievable feeling to be back. What does it mean for you as a snooker player to bounce back at the first time of asking? Will that do you a world of confidence yeah. going back onto the tour? For me to come here and, and get through, it's like I don't care what anyone says, this is up there with a ranking event, how hard it is to get through. Like, and um, I was in the first event last week, I was beating the second last round from 3-1 up and that was, that was sore. That was sore to take. Um, I just I just had to regroup and, and go again. But the way I was feeling last Friday night when I lost, and the way I'm feeling now, there's no way I thought I would have been here today. Like um, the two lads I'm with there, Ross and Rodney, they're they're in the tournament too. They're unlucky yesterday, but we're all staying together. So if it wasn't for them and I was on my own, I, I don't I don't think I would have done it this week. Um, company was a mass is a massive thing. Uh, just having the, the crack off the table and. Yeah, it was just brilliant. So you learn a lot off the table. What do you learn from those guys on the table and how has that helped you through this experience? Yeah, uh, the experience I've gained over the last two years, um, just uh, you can't buy it in, in, this, in this kind of tournament now. Um, all the little battles on the colours and that, like I, won, I, won, I nearly won all the battles this week, uh, the safety battles and you know, the important ones towards the end of the frames. And uh, probably two years ago, last year, I might not have won those. So uh, it's just all kind of crafty shots I've picked up and um, yeah, a lot from Crafty himself, Ken. But um, I have a lot of people to thank. Jeez, uh, there's too many to thank. Uh, just, I started working with uh, PJ Nolan there after the Worlds before coming to this. And the, he kind of showed me a few things, my technique that helped me under pressure here. And um, when Fergal got through as well last week, Fergal O'Brien, he sent me a lovely message and I was down at the time because I just have to lose and he sent me a nice message and it kind of gave me a boost for this week. So all this week I've been in contact with him, phone calls and that and the advice he gave me to deal with different situations was just unbelievable and I can't thank him enough for that. And all these sort of lessons you're learning from, you know, the top, top experienced guys. Would you say your game's in the best place it's ever been? Because, you know, you've won a few games very convincingly this week and Zhao Jambo, your opponent, he's been, he's been making centuries for fun. Yeah, yeah um, my, I scored really heavy the last two weeks, um, I'd say there wasn't many people scored as heavy as me in the first event, but it kind of got a bit uh, sluggish in this event. But you can't play well, you can't come here and expect to play well in all your games. That's just it's just impossible uh, with the format. So, yeah, I, I dug deep in a lot of matches, and I'm, I'm really proud of myself to be sitting there now. Were there any moments in the last few weeks? Because obviously it's. it's it's a time of uncertainty for players when they've just dropped off the tour and they're about to go through Q school and they don't know sort yeah. of where the future lies in the game. Were there any sort of low points where you perhaps didn't have the belief? I, I always have belief, but uh, I, touched the, I touched low for a while, all right. Um, but after the Worlds, I put the queue away for a couple of weeks and I just focused on myself, uh, get myself mentally fit. Um, I had a few people helping me and I learned a few tools along the way that really stood to me this week. Um, it's just... Uh, I, the whole week I just stayed in the present moment because it's the only moment you can control. You can't control the past or you can miss a ball and you'll be thinking of it for, you, you, can't, you can't do that. You just have to erase it from your mind and carry on to the next shot. And um, I really, I've, if I didn't have those tools, um, I wouldn't have came through this week. And keeping in mind that you've now got two years of tour experience in the bank and you've got two more years to look forward to now, what are your aims for that time? Yeah. Um, I just looked at the first two years as a bit of a start to my trade, you could say, a learning a learning experience. And there was a lot of a lot of matches that I learned from, and um, I'm uh, much stronger now for sure. Uh, I know what I'm capable of, and I've played on the tour now, and I know I, uh, my results haven't proved the player I am. So hopefully now, with the two years under my belt, uh, I'll drive on now for the next two years, hopefully. And, uh, just, uh, just a big shout out to all the lads back home and my family and my sponsors, to, uh, Tomas Singleton, Super Value and uh, the Macau Casino. Absolutely brilliant. I, w I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Uh, just going on my phone after every match and seeing the support I'm getting and you just you can't buy it. And uh, I'm so, so grateful now. And uh, 
having a great, great time in my life now. Brilliant, fantastic, congratulations. Thanks very much.